With the coronavirus outbreak, there's a lot of fear out there and a lot of questions, especially about how to stay healthy and coronavirus free. But there is a lot of misinformation out there tonight in our coronavirus fact versus myth segment. We're talking to Dr. Jeffrey Klausner at UCLA. COVID-19 is a viral illness, so when people have an infection, they may have a sore throat, cough, and headache. Those are the three most common symptoms of COVID-19. So right now, if you have the symptoms of cough, fever, or headache, the best thing would be to call your doctor. Not go to the emergency room, not go to your doctor's office, not go to hospital, but call your doctor. Many of those symptoms can be treated with over-the-counter medications like ibuprofen or acetaminophen or Tylenol. Well, the role of masks is twofold. So masks work to prevent someone with infection from spreading it to other people, and masks in medical settings like hospitals protect health workers. But there's absolutely no role for the use of masks by the general public for people who are not infected. Well, the COVID-19 virus can be spread by coughing, sneezing, and close contact. And often those secretions can end up on people's hands. They can also end up on uh, tables or doorknobs. So hand washing, regular hand washing with soap and water for at least 20 seconds multiple times a day is CDC's first recommendation to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Well, when the average healthy person gets COVID-19, it's like a common cold. So they may have a sore throat, mild fever, dry cough, and within a few days, those symptoms will go away. So healthy people, younger people, people without compromised immune systems or chronic diseases, more than a 99% chance of a complete full recovery. So there have been several studies now that show after you acquire infection, usually develop symptoms, fever, cough, or headache in about five days, and then you're infectious for up to three days later. So from infection to the clearance of viral shedding is about eight days total. So after eight days with the current viral detection tests, usually they'll be negative and you can't test it positive any further. To be on the safe side, that's why we recommend up to 14 days of either quarantine if someone who's been exposed or at least seven days after infection if someone's who's ill. Our best evidence that these coronaviruses do produce protective immunity, so after infection, very, very unlikely to get repeat infection, and people are immune. And that's actually one of nature's strategies to bring epidemics down. So people get infection or immune, and they essentially provide a human shield that protects others. Well, when you have symptoms, that usually means you've been infected for, on average, about five days. So that's actually an ideal time to get tested. That's when there is a higher viral load, you're more likely to spread infection, and if tested, the test is most likely to be positive. Well, in any community setting where there's a lot of uh, people traffic and there's a lot of uh, people who might be uh, touching services that uh, people may be uh, spreading uh, infection, so uh, certainly uh, supermarkets or um, you know workplaces are uh, common places. So it's very important that those kind of community settings, there's um, sanitizing um, material available for people, that they're regularly sanitized, and any kind of uh, sanitizing cloth with either bleach or uh, hydrogen peroxide is highly effective. There's actually a lot of uncertainty among infectious disease epidemiologists about the benefits of school closings. School closings were shown to be effective in controlling influenza, but influenza is a different virus and much easier to spread. But nevertheless, schools are closed. Children are known to get infected. They're most likely to have asymptomatic or very, very mild infection. The serious cases in children have been very rare. However, the concern is that if they're in contact with older adults or people who are immune compromised or more vulnerable, that they could transmit infection to those individuals who are at much greater risk for serious disease. Well, many countries currently are recommending, at least for the next 
two weeks to avoid play dates and avoid uh, social gathering. Um, if those do occur, you know, hand washing uh, before, during, after is going to be a important uh, intervention to try to control the continued spread among children.